Packing hopefully should take too long. <laughs> Craving soup all the time. Five small villas here. So pretty. A dupe of the Baccarat Rouge. Good morning lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. If you haven't watched my most recent video, you can go back and watch it, but I am leaving Bali and I am moving back to the UK. Still sounds so weird to say out loud, really weird. But my lease is ending very soon and it's time to pack up my stuff, pack up my life. I think luckily for me, because I've been living overseas for such a long time now, of like not wanting to accumulate too much stuff, I feel like when you live overseas and you know that this maybe isn't forever, that it kind of deters you from like overconsumption and keep buying things. And because I've been on the move so much over the last few years, I've just kind of tried to live as minimally as possible and put aside clothes that I want to donate and um, reduce my wardrobe size. The thing is, I've been living in a humid climate, a tropical climate for the last 10 years and going back to a country where there's going to be seasons is going to be a real shock to me because I barely wear anything but I've got to get back into the swing of wearing, you know, layers and jumpers and coats and boots and all this kind of thing. It's going to be... <laughs> going to be such a weird transition for me but I'm just kind of aware of the fact that a lot of things I wear in Bali I probably wouldn't wear in the UK so I've made a big donations bag other than that I don't really have too much stuff which is good so packing hopefully shouldn't take too long but anyway this room is a complete disaster this morning so I'm going to go through it do a little clean up make my mind feel clear and it'll just kind of prepare me for a day of productivity quick lunch break i just ordered this chap chai this looks so good it's basically just vegetables and chicken and like a broth and i've been eating so much soup lately because i was sick recently i think i got covid like everyone seems to be getting at the moment so i was eating a lot of soup but now i'm like craving soup all the time especially at lunchtime so i'm gonna quickly eat this and then we'll carry on current upstairs bedroom situation is looking a little bit like this it's a disaster the bed is absolutely covered in my clothes that's not even all of my clothes but i have started putting clothes into packing cubes i could not live without packing cubes i don't know how people pack without them the only thing is i've only got like four so i've run out so a lot of my stuff unfortunately will just be thrown into my suitcase and not as organized as i would like it to be um, but I'm going to start going through all this. I also have to start packing up the bathroom. And so I'm going to go through all these products, throw away anything that I'm not using anymore and uh, get this cleaned up. I swear a core part of being a female is thinking that you don't have sanitary towels. So you keep buying more and then you find a stash of them. I'm gonna give a quick shout out to my empties. Bioderma, I've been using this for years since I was a makeup artist. This is the only thing that I will use to take off my base makeup, uh, eye makeup, mascara. It's the only thing that I use for my sensitive eye. Another empty I've just finished is the Zara Red Temptation Perfume. Now this is supposed to be a dupe of the Baccarat Rouge. And I would say that it is really, really similar. I don't think the lasting power is as long, but if you don't want to fork out hundreds of dollars on Baccarat Rouge, um, this Zara dupe is really great. This is actually great timing because I've run out of pretty much everything. Everything is on its last legs, which is really good timing. My two perfumes that I've been wearing um, for the last few months, this is Ellie Saab Girl of Now Shine, really delicious floral, sweet, really nice everyday scent and then i have burberry i don't know what scent this is i don't know what this one's called this one is really really nice everyday wear 
um, and also evening. I've also been using the Ordinary products for years now, I swear by them. These are a few that I use all the time. This is the Hyaluronic Acid. Vitamin C suspension is honestly a game changer. This stuff can change my skin so much for the better. Salicylic Acid. There's a niacinamide in here somewhere. Yeah, this is amazing for breakouts and blemishes. These are my little babies and they will be coming along with me. I am still in the middle of packing chaos. Um, I've definitely made progress. I packed up most of my wardrobe and now I just need to go through like all my electronics and decide what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. But this evening I am gonna go see my friend Jasmine. She is in town from Singapore and she's staying in Chenggu. So I'm gonna go have a little sleepover with her in her hotel um, and it'd be nice for me to have a little break from the packing chaos. Um, her hotel looks gorgeous. I've never I've never even heard of it before. It'd be really nice to have some quality time for her before, before I head home. So I wanted to show you guys the entrance of this hotel because it is just absolutely beautiful and I feel like this kind of style is uh, a little bit more rare in Bali now, I feel like. Anyway, this is the reception. I think this is one room upstairs. There's a TV room. Wow, wow, this is so nice. They've got like this TV room. That's such a nice idea. So this is our breakfast situation. It's like the breakfast for princesses. Honestly, this is so amazing. We've got like our own little private breakfast spot and it's just started to rain. We were planning to sunbathe, but I like the rain. Maybe later. Yeah, sets the scene. I think it's really pretty. It's like a rainforest. I went for the omelette, mushroom sausage, bacon hash browns. This looks amazing. show you guys the bathroom in this hotel room because it's absolutely insane huge massive double sinks a huge bathtub little dressing wardrobe area and then through here is the outdoor shower and toilet situation so beautiful i'm honestly so shocked at this place like, i never knew it existed and um value for money wise it's amazing this is the bedroom i'm not filming jasmine because she's <laughs> In, in her swimming costume but um this room is just so beautiful and this is the view of the pool stunning stunning so there's only i think like five small villas here and then there's a shared pool um but i just love the vibes so this is the pool beautiful and there's like one of the villas over there and then we've just had breakfast but i wanted to show you up here this is where we just had breakfast and then look at this beautiful space so pretty our room is there i'm gonna take jasmine later to rise we probably won't have much of an appetite later actually because um that breakfast was so big i'm really full but we'll probably just go for coffee and then this evening jasmine's booked us a sound bath ceremony which is not something i usually do i like it when friends come to bali because they do things in Bali that are more holiday vibes and I think when you live in a holiday destination you don't necessarily live every day in the same way so it's nice for me to do these kinds of things. Um, this will be our second sound bath ceremony together actually. We did one in Singapore years ago. Yeah it's just really nice to have some quality time together. She's putting on her sun cream. Okay we're gonna move our chairs because I think we're both not a massive fan of being in sunlight anymore. Oh my god! I want it in the worst ways, oh baby. The shame that we don't operate, oh baby. Cause you're back in my house, you're sleeping. I'm not gonna be so sweaty. 
So we've had a lovely afternoon, haven't we? Yep, we went to get lunch and then we went for coffee and now we've just come back to the hotel because we are quite chill. tired. Might gonna yeah, might have a nap. Gonna chill for an hour or two and then we have the sound bath this evening. And I think we might watch Sex and the City because this Don't tell them. This room has a TV and it's got Netflix, which is also really rare. I really appreciate when a hotel has Netflix on their television. We were watching Sex and the City in bed last night, so we might do the same this afternoon. I'm gonna go for um, Indonesian, food. Indonesian food for dinner before our sound bath. And our last day together for a long time. No. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't want to talk about it. I wanted to show you guys what Jasmine bought me as a leaving gift. This is so amazing. How cute is this bag? She bought it in Singapore. What's the brand if someone wants to buy one? Quintessential. Quintessential. Oh, from Design Orchard. Such a nice memento of Singapore. And I like the fact that I can wear this around the UK and no one's gonna know <laughs> what it means, apart from me and Singaporeans. <laughs> Your ear, you're gonna be.